back with us live on your Feel Good Breakfast show. We have a very, very special guest here with us, uh, with us this morning, Dorette Portgieter, a very, very well-known face here in South Africa, actress supreme. If you look at her resume, I mean, you talk about Igoli, Flugstien, Soutmansland, Villa Rosa, Hard Copy, Plak van die Vleesvreters, and uh, uh, also Belade for the Enkeling that's going to be released next year. And she took part, or she took the part of the Femme Fatale there, uh, previously acted by Miss World, Annelien Creel and Brimolde van Rensburg. And she recently also returned uh, from producing and shooting a pilot for a travel series called Skywalkers TV and uh, very exciting times indeed in your life today but thank you very much for coming in this morning how are you I'm very well thank you yes yeah, so <laughs> tell me about your travel adventures I understand that you, you've been to the Samari private game reserve you've been to the Okavango Delta let's start first with Samara and and what were you doing there earlier the year we were asked to go to Samara to which is a private game reserve in the Kam de Boer near Graf Rennet. Um, to shoot their marketing video. Yes. And it's this beautiful piece of land nestled amongst mountains, 70,000 acre of land with loads of animals roaming around. Upon arrival, we were greeted by a herd of Kudu and Eland and Giraffe making their way to the nearest water hole. <laughs> Sounds like a scene from The Lion King. It took 14 hours <laughs> to get there with my little girl, who is now five. Um, what a beautiful piece of land. Wow, yes. wow, wow. And then also there was the Okavango Delta in uh, Botswana that you went to and that you were shooting for Skywalkers TV, right? Yes, I've, I was asked by two pilots, they are hot air balloon pilots, to join them on their journey to the Okavango Delta. High up north near Saronga is a yes. concession with a camp by the name of Kadizora. Uh -huh. And we went there to document the first commercial hot air balloon flight over the Okavango Delta. Wow. That was also like exhilarating. <laughs> but not without um, the odd thing that goes wrong, you know, upon arrival. Yes, okay, tell, tell me more. We um, didn't know and weren't told that the water table hasn't dropped. So we had to take, I uh, leave our vehicles behind, mm -hmm. had to take the basket and the envelope and all our gear with boat through the delta to the camp and then that meant that we didn't have our own vehicle on the other side so we had to share the camp's um, vehicle and they have pickups and drops at the airport which is a little strip that takes them two hours there and two hours back for all the guests arriving from Europe and America and yes. Asia etc and the other vehicle was used for their game drives so we literally left camp in the morning at four and we had to be back by eight. <laughs> My goodness. And, and you'd think that all this travel, because when you think about travel, it's, it, it sounds all glamorous, but sometimes it, it is a bit of a rough road to travel to get to those final destinations. You know, Botswana is quite interesting. It takes two days to get where we were, high up north. And then it took us two days, and that was by road, but it took us two days by aeroplane to get back as well. Yeah. Two, two aeroplanes from the camp that we were at to Moan. Mm -hmm. Then we had to sleep over in Moan. Then we take an aeroplane to um, Gaborone, and then uh -huh. from Gaborone to Johannesburg. So whether it's road or air, it takes the same time. <laughs> Tell me about your experience at the Okavango River. There's crocodiles. I don't know if you know what crocodiles do. They don't really like humans. They eat us. Wow. There is hippos. And I don't know if you know about hippos, but male hippos are extremely territorial. Yes, yes. And it just happened to be that we had to cross through this area where there's this territorial male and three females. Oh, my goodness. And we're sitting on this tiny little boat. And are you delivering links at this time to camera? No. Thank goodness not. But we were shooting lots of it. And you will see if you look through the footage that I... <laughs> I wasn't coping all the time. No. <laughs> well, how do you do that? Because, I mean, at the end of the day, you've got a product to deliver. There's a pilot to be shot. And yet there's this imminent danger all around you. I think it's like praying. If you're praying on your knees, you, you go to another world. So I think when you're acting or when you have to, like yourself, you cut off from the rest of the world and you just focus in on what you have to do at the task at hand. True, you know? true. Yeah. The challenges, I mean, you were talking right now that it, the road isn't always so smooth because you've got a little one yeah. who's five years old right now and sometimes you travel along with her. How do you, how do you make sure that you keep everything in order for, you know... For, it for takes it to... a lot of really good planning Yeah. and just chilling. My daughter is amazing. I'm so lucky to have her. She's very well adjusted. I'm a single mom. Mm -hmm. Her dad's a big part in her life. But because we both travel a lot, there's no like every Wednesday, every second Saturday or weekend. So lots of irregularity. And yes. with regard to that, I'm amazed that she's just so solid. Wow. She often also tells me that she's the clever one here and I need to listen to her. <laughs> the other day she <laughs> says to me, Mom, do only three things in a day, focus on those, the rest of the time you play with me. And there's so much truth in that. Wow. When I play with my daughter, 
I realized, yo, <laughs> life has just so much more to I offer. I mean, every five-year-old needs to talk like that. But quickly, give me your top travel tips for inexperienced travelers out there. Travel advisor, Google, wherever you go. I yes. mean, there's so many means of finding out what other people's experiences were. Unless you enjoy the, the unexpected, yes. then don't. But yeah, I do trip, trip advisors, I check out the places where I go, I see what other people think of it. Facebook is also another social piece of media that you can connect with others. Mm -hmm. Yeah, be prepared. Be prepared. Unless you don't want to be prepared. <laughs> Do it. And know that there are beautiful um, nappy chain spots on all airports. <laughs> Fantastic. Dorit, thank you so, so much for coming and sharing your travel experience with us. And we can't wait to see that project when it does come out. My word, I think next time you're watching some kind of travel show out there and you're seeing an actor or an actress doing their thing, you might have a little bit more respect knowing that they're an even better actor and actress than they actually seem on camera. But right now, let's find out what's coming up on our Feel Good Morning. Morning, Leanne.